Welcome, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to solve this beautiful simultaneous equation, which is read as y squared plus sorry, which is read as x squared plus y equals 57, y squared plus x equals 57. Before we begin, please do well to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to get notification anytime I upload new tutorial videos on this channel. Now let's get to the solution. We're going to rewrite these equations. We have x squared plus y equals 57. Then we have y squared plus x equals 57. So let's call this one equation 1 and call this one equation 2. So clearly, both equations are equating to 57. So that means that 57 in equation 1 and 57 in equation 2. So if both of them are equal, then we can see 57 in equation 1 is equal to 57 in equation what 2. So we can equate the expressions for that. So here, x squared plus y will be equal to y squared plus x. Right. So what we do next here is that we have to rewrite this equation or rearrange this equation. So we have here as x squared minus y squared plus y minus x equals to zero. We have succeeded in moving the left hand side, the right hand side to the left hand side. So here we can write this one to as x squared minus y squared. Let's see minus x plus y equals to zero. That's another form of writing that. So, but you can see that x squared minus y squared is in difference of 2 squared. And the difference of 2 squared rule is here, if you have a squared minus b squared is equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. This is a rule. So, we are going to apply this rule to the x squared minus y squared. So, here, our a is x and our b is what? y. So this one can also be expressed as x plus y, x minus y, minus x plus y equals zero. That is, the whole of this expression is equal to this, right? So here, we can rearrange this one or we can factorize minus one out here. So that we can rewrite the equation as a factor of one and the product of the variables. So here we have x plus y brackets open multiply by x minus y. Here we bring minus one outside. So here will give us x minus y equals to zero. Right. If you take minus y at the sign of the y will change to minus. So here x minus y is common to both. So we take x minus y outside. Then we are not going to left with what? X plus y minus 1 that is minus 1 is left after this one is taken out equals 0 so we we apply the zero product rule minus y should be equals what 0 or x plus y minus 1 should be equals 0 so here we have x equals to y because if you open that you get x minus equals x equals to y but remember, the equation already stated that x should not be equal to what? y. So if you look at the condition of your question, it already stated that x should not be equal to what? y. So we are going to reject this one. So reject this. So this solution will be rejected. Or you come here, that will give us what? x equals to sending the one across to give us positive minus what? y. So that means that this particular condition can be considered that one will be accepted so we are going to substitute that one into you know of this equation but in our case we prefer putting it in equation two because if we put in equation one the equation will become more complex so let's substitute it in equation what two so in equation two we have in equation two we have y square plus x equals to 57 
but our x is equals to 1 minus y. So we can have it as y squared plus 1 minus y equals 57. So here we have a y squared plus 1 minus y minus 57 equals 0. Right. So if you go by this, we can simplify this equation further by having it as y squared, then minus y, 1 minus 57 will give us minus 56, and that is equals to 0. Right. So this is a quadratic. So we can solve that one using the quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula is y is equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a right so here in this equation our a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 56 right so here we have y equals to minus b will give us minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square and a b is what minus 1 so that's minus 1 square minus 4a a is positive 1 multiplied by c which is minus 56 bracket close right divided by 2a so we have here as y equals to minus minus will give us plus so we have plus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square minus 1 square give us 1 minus 4 times so we have 4 times 1 times minus 56 all over 2a so our a is 2 times 1 so here we have 1 plus or minus 1 minus 4 times 1 times 56 it is going to give us 2 2 4 plus divided by 2 so here we have 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 2 2 4 give us 2 2 5 all divided by 2 so here we say that y is equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 2 2 5 will give us 15 divided by 2 so here we have y equals to 1 plus 15 over 2 or y sorry or 1 minus 15 divided by 2 so here if you simplify this one get 16 divided by 2 or y equals to minus 14 divided by 2 so this will give us 8 or our y equals to minus 7 so this is the set of values for y now let's find the value of x so remember from here we stated that x is equal to 1 minus y x is equal to 1 minus y so we try to find the values of x by saying that if y is equals to 8 then this implies x is equals to 1 minus 8 and that is equals to minus 7 if y is equals to minus 7 that implies x is equals to 1 minus minus 7 and that is equals to what 8 we conclude that x y is equals to if s equals to minus 7 y is what 8 so we can have minus 7 8 and if x is equals to what 8 y is minus 7 so we see or x y equals to positive 8 minus 7 so this are the set of solutions for x and y thank you for watching see you next time bye bye